Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's June 6, 2019. This just popped up. Well, a friend of mine had a, uh, a thing he put on Facebook, and then I went there, and this popped up. And uh, this is, so I thought I'd show it to you. As, as I'm looking at it, I'm, <clears throat> I'm not sure. Uh, right down here in this right hand, I'm not sure if my mouse shows up or not. Uh, right hand, bottom row. I guess that'd be my right and your left. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's my father, James Joseph Howard Jr., uh, graduating from St. Vincent's grade school, the same school that I graduated from in uh, 1955. Let's see. Open your book. And this is me. I guess I should have my little picture up in the left-hand corner. It looks like that's going to be <clears throat> a couple pictures of me in the doctor's office. Uh, this is when I believe I had the pacemaker put in, I believe. Uh, uh, the Harris Methodist Hospital. And a view out the window. It was a nice room I was in. Nice hospital, although a few years later I left AMA and was not very happy with them. And that was for a very bad leg infection. I was there six days. But this is not that time. Of course, it's never a happy time when you're in the hospital. My son Ken over here uh, at a Fort Worth shooting range. That was what? February of 2011. Wow. You know, I look a lot. I never looked good, but I look a lot better. Looked a lot better in 2011 than I do in 2019. These are QSL cards that I got back a long time ago. Well, here's for Sputnik 1. Got a QSL card for that. And this is, uh, since it's Radio New York Worldwide, WRUL, that was a QSL card that I, I did a weekly DX program on the WRUL radio, and I did a thing with... Um, um, the Benelux DX Club in the Netherlands or Holland, whatever it's called. Uh, anyway, that was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> this background here, there's a pawn shop about two blocks away from here, and this is their wall that they have painted. <clears throat> so I, I think it was my son, James, took a picture of me standing in front of this wall. And this was during World War, on the right hand side of me on the horse there was during World War II in California. And they would come around then, I think they did it maybe in, you know, Maybe years later, too, in other cities also. But, you know, they they brought a little pony around to your neighborhood, you know, and go door to door and ask if you want your kid's picture taken. And, you know, they supplied the little uh, get up, the cowboy hat and the scarf, and you had your picture taken. The good old days. And this is me on the left here, which is, I guess, your right. God, I'm confused. Uh, putting a penny in a pullover gum machine in 1943 in California, holding on to my teddy bear. I remember the teddy bear. And uh, 
There it is. There was actually like four pictures. Here are two of them. I, I really should do. This here is on the right-hand side, my right-hand side, or the right-hand side of the screen that you're looking at. I don't know. I'm confused. This is my mother's grade school graduation class. I don't know if I can enlarge it or not. But she was right here, I believe. That was during the Depression. She was very poor. Share on Facebook? Well, no, let me do this first here. And uh, my kids, LaDonna, and this is my, not sure if a mouse is showing up or not, I hope so, uh, <clears throat> my grandfather, James Joseph Howard Sr., my father, James Joseph Howard Jr., and this is me, James Joseph Howard III. And here, of course, on the right-hand side is Hillary with uh, a cat. <laughs> She's still a cat person. Let's see. And here I am in May of 1942. I was a cute little boy. Whatever happened to me? You know? This is some type of a, a picture thing. I think Facebook or somebody had that where it ages you or does something rather. And I did that. So here I am inside with my dark glasses on. And there's my son back there with his dark glasses on. There are so many different pictures of my computer room. You're probably going to see a bunch of them. This chair, you can see all the tape on it. Uh, chairs, I, I need to like have one delivered automatically every year. I do not like close-up pictures. This one here was foggy. It was a foggy morning. It says here it was taken with the Panasonic FZ200. I still own that camera. I very rarely take pictures with it. I should. It's a nice camera. This is an interesting picture. Me in a hospital security uniform. I guess I'd either just come home for work or getting ready to go to work. This is a Radio Shack Model 1 computer. TRS-80 Model 1 and the BBS was running on that, so that had been about 1982. Down here is an Ektron stringy floppy unit. Let's see. This is one of my pictures here from Washington, D.C. And of course, this other picture of Washington, D.C., another picture of Washington, D.C. This is me and, uh, let's see, in my high school uniform, De La Salle Military Academy. This was our dress parade uniform, Friday, so this would have been the Friday uniform. This was about uh, this picture of me crouching down here with my. Uh, Smith & Weston Outdoorsman model. A 38 on a 44 frame. It was a big gun. And uh, I think I'm checking out marijuana that was growing underneath our, our guard shack was up here in a parking. This is one of our park. It was up here. The, you go up these stairs to the shack. And, right. I think somebody must have been smoking their pipe and maybe had marijuana seeds fall down there. Not sure. This is my mother and myself. My father, my Savannah, Georgia. We, my dad was working at the H bomb plant in uh, Barnwell, South Carolina. Well, that's not where the H bomb plant was, but that's where my mother, my dog lady, and myself. And I've got, not sure why I have a tie on. 
but I do have a little model airplane here. I don't think it's a model airplane, I think it's just a plastic one. This is my ex-wife, and this would have been back uh, about 1968, and we were in the fish shop that she had just started. And here I am again. At, we had this Christmas, uh, what do you call it? Anyway, we set it up every year. Manger, that's it. Manger, I remembered it. Uh, this picture here is when I was being interviewed for uh, BBS the documentary. I was sending out video as, I, but I didn't send out audio, so uh, he re recorded for four, I think three or four hours. And these two, I think I was about top pictures here, I think I was about uh, five years old, because I remember that, I think that was when I went to kindergarten. Down here in this middle picture, I think I look a little bit gay, but not that there's anything wrong with it, you understand, right? And maybe also this, me sitting on this gigantic cannon, I think that might be a little bit gay. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Uh, there's Hillary at a Petco or whatever looking at cats. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to have to go through these quicker than... I stopped doing this walking, which I shouldn't have. <clears throat> this app, actually the app started acting. I paid for it, of course. I always pay for things like that, you know. And as soon as I pay for something, it stops uh, working the way it should. Okay, Hillary got, uh, this is our, uh, Hillary made this for us. Thanksgiving, no, Christmas Eve, okay. Okay. Uh, this is when I fell into the dry, into the street. Uh, this is cancer that I had on the top of my head for a long, long time. I think several people here on YouTube mentioned, you should have that thing checked. I eventually I did. Here's right after the uh, doctor had cut it out of my head. Oh, this is wedding pictures. This is the skinny guy. Here's me. And this is Darlene, my, at that, that was wedding day. And this on the, over here is my father, and on the up, standing next to me is her father. Okay. Here I am again, cute little kid, right? Here I am at St. Vincent's, at their little grotto or whatever. I would have graduated in 1955. The grotto disappeared, and... Actually, I was able to send uh, the, I forget exactly what he's called, but anyway, I, I was able to send a picture to, they wanted to rebuild it or whatever at that, you know, church and school, so. I wonder who took the picture. Uh... Okay, here's 
Washington, D.C. visit. This is my daughter, my oldest, LaDonna. She takes fantastic pictures, and she takes fantastic pictures um, with, you know, just with a, well, she has, you know, but just with a cell phone. She does, takes unbelievable. This is, on the right here, my mother. Let's see. This is my mother uh, at age 17. It was taken in 1934 at Parkview Drugstore in Kansas City, Missouri. And uh, I think that this would have been about the time, because I think my mother said that my father met her in a, in a drugstore, you know, in a drugstore. She had very red hair at the time. More food made by Hillary <laughs> for Jimmy's birthday. Oh. Okay, we're getting up here close to the end. Here I am on my bicycle. My father, I don't think my... I, I got this bicycle at this age, whatever age that is, nine, I don't know. Oh, 1950, so I was born in 1941, so yeah, about nine. And all my friends had, uh, in that neighborhood, they all had a lot of brothers and sisters. I mean, I was an only child. So nobody showed me how to ride a bike or, you know, because I didn't have any brothers or sisters or men. So for a long time, I just when I took my bike, I just pushed it. The other, you know, would be riding, and I'd be pushing my bike. And finally, they just said, "To hell with this!" You know, you're on your own unless you start with. So was it we at the top of a hill too? Maybe they were trying to kill me. So I got on the bike, rode down at the bottom of the hill, but I didn't know how to stop it. Hit a curb, went flying up the air. <laughs> didn't hurt myself or anything. But then I knew how to ride a bike. Uh, high school yearbook. I threw all my high school year. I threw everything. Well, moving because I threw everything away. But I found this someplace online that I could, um, and that's me. Circled. And I think that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I don't think I want to spend fifty. Four dollars and sixty cents for this, but I may post it now on YouTube or um, Facebook. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching.